Welcome back to Trigger Point Performance Therapy. I know a lot of you guys are getting ready for the Boston Marathon, and I want to let you know here at Trigger Point, we support you, and we look forward to meeting you at the expo. As you start to get into your taper weeks, and a lot of times you can get anxious or jittery because you're cutting your miles down and you feel like you should be doing more, but what you can do is spend that extra time working on your recovery. Today what we're going to do is use our trigger point massage ball to address the front part of the lower leg, which is going to be the anterior tibialis, and then we'll use the ball to address the glute. The ball is a great thing to travel with and you can really get a lot of diff different areas, but for your running we feel these are two key areas to help with that recovery and that rejuvenation. So let's begin with an anterior tibialis. So it's very easy to find the anterior tibialis by just flexing the toes up and then you'll be able to feel that muscle pop out. We'll divide that up into three zones with our trigger point massage ball. We'll start at the bottom of the muscle there in zone one. So let's position that there. Now this is going to be position your hands like it's reverse CPR. Hopefully you never have to give CPR to yourself. But if you did you would do it with this hand position. Now bring the knee up closer towards the chest and then relax the foot, relax, there we go, and get the elbows out wide, that's going to help with our pivots. So our motions here are going to be four pivot motions with the ball and then four rotations with the foot. So let's take a big breath in, as you release the breath, pivot one and keep it nice and consistent, two, three, and four, it's a perfect job. And now let's do four rotations of the foot. I like to do two rotations in each direction. Nice big rotation so you're actually pulling that muscle through the area. Perfect, you can go in and relax there. Be sure you keep the foot relaxed. Now what you'll do on your own is now scoot the ball up about an inch or so up into zone two and repeat that. And then you'll scoot up into zone three and repeat that as well. For today's purposes, we're gonna go ahead and move right onto the glute. So here you can stay in almost the same position. We're going to hike the hip up. And after we position the ball there in the glute, we're going to take this opposite side leg and bend it up to where the foot's flat on the ground and then outstretch the side that you're working. Now here we're going to have three different moves on the glute. We're going to pull the knee up towards the chest four times, we're going to do four external rotations, and then we're going to do four pivots. So let's begin by taking that big breath in, be sure you can relax. As you release, just pull the knee up towards the chest and come all the way back out. There's one, repeat that four times. Also with the hips, you may want to try pivoting the hips into the ball a little bit more or less, however you feel necessary. Up again and down, we have one more. Go ahead and pull up and down, perfect. Now let's bring that leg up and put the foot flat on the ground and now we'll do our four external rotations. So again, a big breath in so you can relax. Good job, as you release, let the knee fall out as far as you're comfortable with. If it can go all the way to the ground, that's great. If it can't, then don't make it. And we'll repeat that four times as well. There's two, two more, out. There's three, perfect, we have one more. Try to keep the spine nice and neutral. Very good job. Now from this position, use leverage with your feet and leverage with your hands and just sort of pivot yourself on the ball two times in each direction. And just notice how that motion comes from the hips. And again, you're pinning that muscle down and you're just trying to create some movement in between the tissues. Perfect, you can relax there. Now if you would like, you can do that again. You can reposition the ball slightly more toward the outside or try to reposition it a little bit higher, whatever you feel is necessary. So before your next run, or maybe after your next run, give those two a shot, rolling the front part of the leg here and the glute. Let me know how you feel, and we'll see you next time.